Hey everybody, welcome back to Hot Shot, episode 4 of the GP. Let's get on into it. Normal difficulty, as we do. I think, I can't remember if this the last episode had the new wheels on our whip, but check those out. Them gold bronze mans. Oh yeah, so much acceleration. Going into our first race. Can't hear myself. Here we go. Doing this voice over action. I took notes this time. Took notes. It's a winter wonderland here at Ski Paradise. Where's all the snow? You said look at all that look at all that non-snow. It's weird weird green snow you got there in your your winter wonderland. So this first race. Getting back into it. Uh, I try to use boosts just non-stop, like this, this whole episode's kind of like a, an experimentation on does boost really secure your win? And I'll be talking about it in, the, in all four races that we do here. Spitting out stuff along the way. But anytime I get a bar of boost, I'll just burn through it on this one. Uh, yeah, so let's, let's do that. Getting passed by blue and yellow man. Trying to do some drifting. Get boost and go. Get boost and go. Coming up on, we got that red uh coon toss looking guy. Oh. Spinning wide. But we got boost. Boosting on through. Coming up on the start finish line. No. No, no, no we're not. <laughs> the guy in last is coming along the start finish line. We are already halfway through the race. You idiot. Continuing on, boost, go, second lap, uh, coming up on the third lap, uh, I, it gets pretty, pretty hairy, I, I almost don't have enough juice to, to get a boost, juice to boost, juice to boost it. Coming on through. How many times do I say that coming on to you? <laughs> Got our checkpoints. Spinny rainbow machine going wild as ever. Coming up on a big, big drifting point. Notice there on the bottom right, my boost level isn't quite where I want it to be, so I gotta try and, there we go. Get just enough drifting to get our boost and secure our first win of the fourth GP. You notice there, on that board right there, there's no challenges. Still no challenges, don't know what's up with that. We'll continue on to our second race. Race number D. I love this music too. Mm-hmm-hmm, Temple Ruins. I think, also, side note, I think this dude has different, like he's got more than one intro to each track. So that'll be another thing to look forward, look, look for. This race, I, I race mainly, yeah, all the way into the hood cam to see, it, it's kind of like an anxiety thing where, you, you know, you don't know if they're right next to you about to pass you. So you kind of looking back and forth, looking back and forth. It's just so much easier to be in third person, you know, have all around you visible. But we're gonna risk it. We are gonna risk it to get that biz hit. And that 86 is he's a troublemaker. It, it's weird how how good he is. He always seems to be up there with us in these races, getting a shunt from behind. Kintosh man boosting away, but. He's boosting and we're drafting. That's that's interesting. The draft has so much pull and it is so crucial. You fall behind a little bit, just hit up on that boost. There's a 86 man shredding along. See at this point, yeah, okay, it's, he passed me. I I don't know if I was in first or not. You know, you got the position thing telling you, and you know, if the thing you see it go from first position to second position. It may already be too late. 
You know, that's, that's another thing why you probably want to have a bar to a boost, just in case. Uh, this track, to me, also, uh, maybe because of the difficulty. I think the higher difficulty means you go faster, kind of like in Mario Kart, as I've said before. Uh, it feels too big, too wide. And they're crashing each other out, giving me bigger advantage on our third and final lap here. But it, you got all the space in front of us, and you, there's really no drifting. Like, I don't, how many times did we even get boost in this race? I think there, I saved that bar of boost, perhaps. Or not, I don't know. <laughs> but I think that is the only the third, maybe fourth bar of boost, or maybe even the second bar of boost. I have no idea. I don't remember. I'm not going back now. We're in this now. <laughs> but coming along the last couple of corners. Yeah, this this has to be like the only the second or third bar of boost. I burned through it and across the line in hood cam. Cheating at the end by looking behind me, which automatically puts you in third person. Still no challenges on the board. On to race tray. Race number three. And this is a good one. I like race number three. I have the most notes on it, too. <laughs> notes are going well. Tell me what you think of these things. Mm, downtown. Shout out to Macklemore, sponsor me, bro. All right, hopping out of oh, hood cam. I enjoy this track. It is very, even in the lower difficulties, very drift happy. A lot of tight corners. A uh, really good section up here. This is probably the best section. You come in, drift, and if you have enough speed, you link up to this one, do the whole corner. Yeah, look at that. So, I counted through this race. I tried, like, one of the challenges that is on that non-existent challenge board is to boost ten times in a race. I went back and counted. And we only managed nine boosts. So if I had a higher difficulty, maybe, perhaps, that would mean I get more boosties, more drifties. All the T's bumping, bumping around, shoving buddies. This is a very tight race. Very tight comes down to the wire. I have written down Boost Wonderland. That it is. And this, furthermore, is proving. On the race before, where we only got one or two bars of boost, we were still in the lead most of the time. And in this instance, we've been boosting three or four, five times now. Look at we're in third. Third place. So, boosting obviously is important, but it does not mean you will win. As we come to the final corner of the second lap, I would have lost those the last lap, you know. The 86 guy, he rams the crap out of me. It really uns un is unsettling to your vehicle around hairpin he's ramming that yellow man I think that's like a Ferrari or something but yeah try I was trying for that 10 boost this round and in doing so I may have sabotaged myself as we come up here gets that boost uses it but we only have a couple corners left so now I'm fret I'm, I'm sweating because I know you know kind of I would night I would like a, a boost right here final corner get past ram oh no boom it's a win so you can you can shoulder them and they don't just slip past you it probably should not have won that race but rubbin's racing hey yo yeah only nine nine boosts that that race kind of disappointing if i would have got the 10 boosts i would i really would like to know if it would have given me given me new new words if it would have given me an achievement or something for, for doing that. Oh, talked over that guy. Last race for all the Marbles. One thing I noticed in this race, and I guess with the last race too, but I was really going for the, the boost challenge, but the AI difficulty seems 
different on every track. And this one, it seemed like they were, no matter what I did, they were always right there, ready to, ready to overtake me. Like coming up on uh, this section here, yeah, this like through this section, it always seemed to, they seemed to do better just in every way. Like I would come through here, and then they would be right back on me. Like this, this corner, yeah. Boom, there they are, ramming away. Notice you get rammed, your whole back end lifts up off the ground. The Red Kuntosh, man, I haven't seen him in a while. He's back. 86 seems to be a very hot contender. Second lap. Hmm, something nice. But in the lead, getting rammed by 86, man. That's how it go. They, 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 yeah, that corner I could never seem to get right. But as you can see here, I was pretty far behind. As in most races, I wasn't ever that far behind. They would pass me and then I kind of pass them right back. But it actually took me a couple corners to draft, work up some boost, get ran by 86, and, you know, get back up. You can see they're, they're just swarming me the whole race. <laughs> Falling behind, yeah. Coming up, third, final lap. Can we do it? Can we hold them off? I don't know. I mean, I do know, but I don't know. I got a couple bars of boost saved up. Just because. Getting rammed into the wall. Coming up on the corner that I can't do properly. Hit the wall, as you are. Getting that draft in. Getting that draft in. I got three bars of boost. Let's burn one. The the boost drifting right here. Ooh, so satisfying. For some reason, I always think that's like the final turn on that track, but it's not. <laughs> you got one more big section right here. Come on over. And with boosting, we just managed to win that race. That is our perfect victory on our... GP number four. We've done it. We've friggin' done it. Moving on up, and here we go! For the fourth time, and the final time for this character, maybe, I don't know. GP in the books. Here's that little movie cutscene you love so much. Take it away! I wish he could have seen me then, standing in front of the cheering crowds. But he wasn't there. It was my dream, not his. And when it ended, I went back. To the garage where it all began. I hoped that he'd be proud of me. And you know what? He was. He'll always be damn proud. And you know what? If you like the video, make sure you like the video. Comment down below. Say hi. Say hi back to you. Share with your friends. Talk smack. I don't care. And subscribe, maybe. Alright. Take it easy, guys. Bye-bye.